Newborn Hearing Testing by Dr. Christopher Chang of Fokker ENT. In many hospitals in the United States, a newborn hearing screen is performed 24 to 48 hours after the birth of a child to evaluate for any type of hearing loss. In one type of test, special headphones are placed over the ears that produce specific clicks of noise that is then detected by sensors applied as stickers on the forehead as well as near the ear. These sensors detect nerve signals transmitted from the ear to the brain. If no signals are detected, the child will fail the hearing test and hearing loss would be strongly suspected. Let's take a closer look at how this test works, known as an auditory brainstem response. Click noises produced by the test is normally transmitted through the ear canal to the cochlea and up to the auditory cortex of the brain. If hearing loss is present, the signals will never reach the brain. If all goes well, however, the newborn will pass the hearing test. It should be kept in mind that approximately 2 to 4 babies out of every 1,000 births in the United States are born deaf or hard of hearing, making hearing loss the most common birth disorder. Although such hearing screening evaluates for significant hearing loss, newborns with mild hearing loss may still pass this test. Note on this hearing screen certificate, a cutoff of 35 decibel hearing level was used. Auditory brainstem response testing akin to that done in the hospital can also be performed in specialized hearing centers that often can be found in ENT offices. After the newborn is comfortably nestled in the mother's arms, the skin over the forehead and behind the ears are cleaned with alcohol. Sensors are then applied over the forehead and behind the ear. This type of testing done in such outpatient facilities are even more sensitive with sound levels tested down to as low as 20 decibel hearing level rather than the 35 decibel level cutoff performed in the hospital. Earplug headphones are inserted and the testing is begun. Just as in the hospital newborn hearing screen, clicks produced by the test can be traced from the ear all the way to the auditory cortex of the brain denoted by the squiggles on the screen. There is another type of hearing test called otoacoustic emissions. This is a much more basic hearing test where only an earplug headphone is placed. Rather than clicks, this type of test emits a continuous tone and if hearing is intact, an echo is emitted by the cochlea hearing organ. This echo is detected by the machine and displayed indicating the presence of hearing. <laughs> 